everyone. Um, so I am back today with a shopping haul. We did a lot of shopping in London. Uh, we took advantage of a lot of sales. We want to just pick up a couple things that weren't on sale, but we wanted to grab while we were there. Um, I had to actually get my car oiled. So I missed last year. I didn't get my car oiled. So I got it this year. It helps prevent like the rust from the salt and the winter and all that. So that is why we were in London. And then we went to Masonville Mall and did some shopping. So the first store I'll talk about is uh, the face shop. I've never been in the face shop before. I honestly thought it was a uh, like a, like a knockoff type skincare store from the body shop because it looks like the body shop sign. So I thought it was just some kind of like knockoff. We went in because we knew it carried the fruits and passions, and we don't have any fruits and passions in London anymore. They got rid of them all. So um, we went there. And uh, we realized that we were wrong. It's not some kind of crap knockoff store. It's got really great stuff. So let me show you what I got. Um, so they had a deal where they had three bubble baths for $10. I thought that was a great deal. So I picked up three different ones. I'm going to use these in conjunction with all of my bath bombs and bath melts. Just kind of my bath salts that I got for Christmas. Kind of just mix it all together. So this one here is Field Berries. And then I picked up the peach nectar and the mango escape. So three of those for $10 and it is a Canadian company. If uh, you're not familiar with Fruits and Passions, it's from, um, I think it's Quebec, made in Canada. Yeah, Quebec. So this is a company based out of there. So I got those and then this is stuff that I've never tried before. Um, she was talking about face masks. Maybe people have tried these. It's like a mask that actually sits on your face, like like almost like a like a fabric of some sort. Um, so I got three of these. They were two dollars each. I didn't think that was a bad deal. Um, I asked for something more for sensitive skin and blemished skin. So she suggested um, the face mask mung bean. So I got that, the green tea, green tea mask, and the lemon face mask. Each one was two dollars. I'm definitely gonna try one out probably after this video. Um, see if I like it. I do a lot of the masks from Lush. I've done masks from Body Shop, and uh, I prefer the the Lush Fresh face masks and the uh, oh, there's one another one. Magna, oh, what is it called? Mask of, oh, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to remember it. Um, but that's another one I use. It's not a fresh, fresh face mask. It's like a green one with a little bit of um, exfoliate in it. And that's from Lush. Um, so this was something that caught my eye because it's so weird, different. I shouldn't say weird. It's just different. This is an eye like an eye uh, crayon, and it looks like a lip gloss. Let me see if I can open it and show you. And of course, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this. Oh, maybe, there it is. Don't do this. It's probably really bad for your teeth, but that's okay. So this is part of the Korean um, makeup. She was going on and saying how Koreans like the best um, skincare and makeup uh, out there. Like it's really like the best that you can get. Um, I've always kind of stayed away from it because I just, I didn't know what it was all about. You see it in Winners and Marshalls and uh, you just don't really know what to expect. Um, but she said, you know, if you want to see a difference in your skin and an improvement in your skin, go with Korean. So this is a Korean eye color. It's like an eye shadow. I'm having a hard time here. Um, an eye shadow. Here we go. But it looks like a lip, like a lipstick that you'd see here. All right. There we go. So it, it acts like a lipstick and it's for your eyes. So 
don't know if you can see the glitter. It's kind of like a, a shimmery peach color. It was 30% off, like five bucks. Yeah, I'm up for trying it. So yeah, that's that. It's called Overgirl. We'll try it out. She also gave me this. These are little samples of Belief, I think is how it's pronounced. And she says this is like the best face cream out here. Um, it's comparable to all the high-end brands like Clinique and Lancome and $47 a bottle, she kept saying. So um, I'm going to try it out, see what I think. I don't really moisturize my face as much as I probably should. I have, uh, I get blemishes easily. So I don't like to put an added layer of moisturizer thinking that it's going to bring on more. So I will definitely try it out though. No harm in that. So that was my purchase from the face shop. This is what my mom bought. She bought three masks as well, $2 each. Um, so this one is firming face mask collagen, the blueberry face mask, and the Akai or Acai Berry, I don't know how it's actually properly pronounced, but she bought that too. And she also bought some bubble baths. She actually got a gift pack. These, this pack is $6. So it works out to a slightly better deal than what I got. I paid 33 cents more on my bottles. She paid $3 a bottle. So she has the orange cantaloupe and the, oh, what is it? Mango Escape. So, and that's what she bought. So both our first times there, um, and we were quite impressed, very knowledgeable, helpful sales associate, which is always great. And, uh, you know, got some stuff that we're familiar with, the Fruits of Passions, and got some new stuff to try, and there's no harm in that. All right, so moving on, what should I do next? Um, let's do Bath and Body Works, of course, right? I was there, I've got emails, they've added new stuff to their sales, 75% off, and blah, 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 basically. And uh, we did a combined purchase. So it was a purchase um, that my mom and I just split in the store. And we're going to share all these products. So I have five of these. It is the Apple Blossom Lav and Lavender. And it's a body scrub. Body scrubs, something that uh, we don't have a whole lot of. And you can hold on to them and then just, you know, use one, share it, and then use another one. It's like it won't go bad. So that's what that's the plan with this. It was like four dollars and change for these. So we got five of the apple blossom and lavender. We got four of these ones, and this is the peach and honey almond. This is actually my preference out of the three for fragrance. It's actually really nice. I like peaches though. I like anything peach lotion. I have a peach lotion from uh, ages ago from the body shop still is amazing smells really good so it has not gone bad um i also got these they don't have much christmas left at this time like what is it january january 7th right now not a whole lot of christmas left so i picked up a little spray because it's a dollar 60 it's winter candy apple i have it in the shower right now as a shower gel if you watched my other haul you would know that and i don't mind it so i have that and then i picked this up because I'm hearing great things about the Ultra Shea Body Cream. My legs get very, very dry. My hands get very, very dry in the winter. So maybe this will work and uh, definitely try it out. When it's on sale, it was like three, three something. These prices are not the regular prices throughout the year. So take advantage of it. It's not going to go bad as long as you keep, remain unopened and you make sure you use it. You kind of like stock up, right? So that was it. Another thing, um, this is specifically for myself and it's, you know how many mists I have. It's a mist holder. You put your mist in and it's like sparkly. Oh my gosh. So green is one of my favorite colors and yes, it was 75% off because it's Christmas. But you know, do you like green? Then get it. Green, sparkle. Doesn't have to just be Christmas, right? Okay. This is specifically for my mom. She got these little wax melts. So we've got Twisted Peppermint. She got two of those. And, oh wow, I can actually smell them. They're not even open. It smells really good. 
Um, and this is the Candy Apple. So the same fragrance as the Body Care that you just saw. These were three for six dollars. And uh, so this whole purchase, I got 25% off because they sent me a coupon to my email saying if you resubscribe to your email, you'll get a 25% off coupon. So I did that last night. I got the coupon. So we got 25% off on top of all of this and it came to I think $45 for all of that split in half and there you go. A pretty good deal. So that will all be a shared product. Um, I feel like, oh wow, we're already at 10 minutes. Um, okay, what else do we have? Oh, okay, we actually have another little bit of the um, Bath and Body Works. This is only my mom. This is just something that she bought herself because she wanted to get some hand soaps. So we've got two of these. Two of these ones, the Winter White Woods. And we have one of the Hearth and Home. And we got one, Give Thanks. So for four dollar or four total. So she's got some like wintry ones to use that aren't like specifically for Christmas. That's what she didn't want. So she got those. All right. Um, Yankee Candle. So we went to Yankee Candle, 75% off, 50% off, different sales here and there. And um, I got some really cool things. So let me show you. I got this little lantern. It's a Halloween lantern. I love Halloween. I love having something like this sit up on my shelves. Just something kind of decorative, but I love Halloween stuff. So I picked this up and regular price on it was 30 and it was 75% off. So I got this for, what does that work out? Oh my gosh, $7.50, $7.50. Um, I thought that was a good deal. So that has a little tea light in the uh, bottom of it and you heat like a little uh, wax melt. Um, I got this for the top of my candles. I've always kind of liked this one. It's got little houses and trees on it. And it says, home sweet home. It's a little corny, but I like that, actually. It's it's really cute. It reminds me of, like, books I read when I was a child. And, like, books that, there's, like, one that stands out. It's, like, Dollhouse Mouse. That was my favorite book when I was little. And that reminds me of it. So I really, I do like that. Um, I picked up a larger one. So I have the matching large uh, lantern. And put a bigger candle in it. Again, it's Halloween, 75% off. The regular price was 40, and I got this for 10. So that was a really good deal. When when Halloween rolls around and you're looking for this stuff, you're not gonna find it with for that price, right? So get it now. Um, and then I picked up this. So I have a, I think it's like a black licorice, a black licorice giant candle from Yankee. And this will look so cool on top. So it's going to glow that green and that uh, black. I've never gotten, it's like a little shade lamp, like a lamp shade. I have never gotten a lamp shade for Yankee Candle. But I thought that was pretty cool. It was like $5, regular price 20 So I picked that up. My mom got some stuff too. I don't have her stuff to show. She got a couple candles as gifts and a candle for herself or something like that. So I don't have that either. Um, so now we're gonna move on to David's Tea. Um, one thing I wanted to do, I got an email saying that I have so many points for free tea. So I got two bags of 50 gram tea for free. That was one thing I wanted to get while being in London. So here they are. This one is Mango Madness. It's a white tea, have not tried it. it smells amazing, so if I figured I'd try it. This is a green tea. It's one of their new ones, Zestfully Green. One of their new ones that uh, is in for the or January kind of like revive, kind of like health teas that they bring out in January. So try that. I like green tea. I drink primarily green tea. Um, these are perfect teaspoons. I bought two because I like the colors. Generally, their teaspoons are silver. They had a gold one for Christmas. They had a black one for Halloween. And then they have all these bright colored ones. So I got one of their classic tealy blue and one pink of course because I like pink so got that just doing a quick okay so two more stores Victoria's Secret and Sephora so we're gonna do Victoria's Secret first I picked this up it's a 
Victoria sport shirt. So it's a sweatshirt material. It's got the racer back on it and a hood. And this was on sale half price. So regular price is $44. I got that for half price. I think a little bit less actually, $20. So I got that for $20. It's perfect for uh, the gym. It's very open so I'd wear like a, a heavy sports bra type thing underneath. So not too much exposed because I don't like that. Um, also, I picked up this, 65% off. It's a pink uh, perfume. It is a perfume I constantly go back to. It's a perfume I've used for years, probably going on close to 10 years. That is a fragrance that everyone associates with me. They smell it, they think of me. It's just a fragrance that clearly I've used a lot and uh, it's kind of, I've made it my own. I picked up these as well. These are regularly 22 got them for seven. It's a solid perfume. This is the Victoria's Secret Crush, kind of a glare, I apologize. And this one, what's it called? Scandalous. Anyway, silly name. Um, it smells like raspberries. That's what I like. Um, I also picked up these. They're called Mood Mists. Um, one is for sleeping. It's like a lavender smell, I believe. Yep. And this is the pink crush, crush worthy. Kind of a sweet smell. Um, it does talk about gardenia. And you're supposed to like mist it in your face and breathe it in. That's the whole idea of the mood mists. I have three of the other ones part of their collection and then these ones were six dollars each. Pick those up. So I have the whole collection now. And I do use them not so much as a mood mist, more as just a nice mist that smells good. Um, this blue one, though, I will definitely use it before I go to bed, see what happens, see if, you know, maybe it will work. Um, so that is what I got at Victoria's Secret. Oh, my mom picked this up, and this is Victoria's Secret Fabulous. It is a $60 perfume, got it for 50% off. This is actually a gift for my grandmother, so my mom got that for my grandmother. My grandma probably doesn't shop at Victoria's Secret, but you know, it's still a very nice gift. It's something that we know she'll like. All right, so the last thing, I'm sorry this video is so long, um, Sephora. I'll try to make it quick. Went into Sephora to get this. This is a hundred point gift that they just put on, um, I got an email about. So it's a tiny <laughs> Urban Decay lipstick. Come on. Why aren't you coming out? It's a, uh, it's called Venom. It's a purple color and uh, it's a hundred points. This little, it's really cute. And that is the color of that. So that's what I went in for just to pick up the hundred point gift when I saw it hit online. And uh, I asked cause I've been waiting for Peach by Too Faced. So I asked, do you have it? They had it hiding in the back. I don't know why. So I ended up picking up a lip gloss and a um, highlighter blush. I'll quickly show you the packaging. The packaging is like awesome. And there is the highlighter and blush. You can see a lot in that mirror. Um. We also got this lip gloss. It's got a, a little a peach face. And you can see the color and got that. So the whole thing, I'm sure if you're familiar with Too Faced and peach, this all smells like peach. I thought it was a cool thing to get. I was not interested in the palette. The palette colors to me are nothing special. So these kind of things I would use more of. So I picked that up. And then the last thing I picked up, I splurged. I really did, but hey, this is a limited edition palette. Limited edition, and it's the After Dark Urban Decay. Here is the palette. Really, really pretty. Oh my goodness, keeps reflecting everything I have sitting there. <sighs> there we go. And there are the colors. Really pretty. 
all very um, sparkly, iridescent -y, and uh, I splurged on that. Okay, so um, that was my shopping haul. Oh, a couple other small things I picked up at Shoppers Drug Mart. Um, this dry hairspray. Anyone use that? I don't know. I've never used this brand of hair, um, the dry hair shampoo. So if you used it, let me know what it's like. It's, it smells great. And it's so in between washes, it's the whole idea. So you don't, if you don't wash your hair every day or every other day, um, for whatever reason, this is supposed to kind of give it a clean look in those down days. I got these. So those are for taking eye makeup off. They're like eye shaped, which is actually really nice. And this. And I got this. And if you don't know already, I am Canadian. And this is a Canadian coloring book for the 150th anniversary. So I picked that up too. All right. I like the coloring books. I don't get a whole lot of time to actually color them. I almost have like a collection going on. Anyway, sorry for me going on so long. I know this is a long video. If you stuck out to the end, thank you very much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you enjoy watching these types of videos. Um, I'm glad I got to share this all with everyone. I find it very exciting trying new products and buying, uh, finding great deals. So um, thank you again, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.